So where's the Cumbria Way sign? Oh yeah. So we've actually done this walk before this bit. So we're parked. So at you, you Dale, or uh, Old Dale? I'd say Old Dale. Yeah. Car park. Out again, another another big in or big ish. Seven and a half mile today, three mile tomorrow. Seven Wayne rights. Oh yeah, early start it was. Left my house at ten to four this morning. To be at Carl's a quarter past five. Don't expect too many of them, that's not happening. Ten and a half mile to walk. <laughs> yeah, it's only 20 past eight. And as you could see, or just about see as we set off, very limited parking. So we got here for quarter to eight. And by quarter past, including our car, there's three cars and there's only room for, I think, four or five. So yeah, you've got to, got to set off early. And yeah, we're just discussing, we've walked this path doing the Cumbria Way, but we can't remember it. Try and shelter the wind. Yeah, clacked in. That route down there, if you can hear me, like I said, was the uh, Cumbria Way. It is. But it's a low route round Skiddle, not the high, high route. We took the high route. That's why we didn't recognise it. This walk we're doing this time, it's a very grassy one. As opposed to rocky ones we do. But some of the sections are quite uh, very wet as we come over, but it's rained a lot. What's this next one we're doing, Carl? Bree. Bree fell. Bree. Is it? Bree. Some of that. Bree. 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 Bree, I think. Bree anyway, I'll put the names up uh, as we do them. Yeah, it's... Uh, Going to be one of our windier camps this the forecast mountain information weather services whatever it's called was giving 30 i think but then dropping off and then picking up again we'll see how we get on i've got the gear should be all right uh, all right i'll see you at the top number two three in the, in the bag got to the shelter we had a, a little shower just enough to make us damp we're gonna have a spot of something to eat we've done four miles i think roughly and our campsite basically is the next fell behind us which is in spitting distance but we're not going to do that oh no we're going to do about another six miles <laughs> in the opposite direction. yeah in the opposite direction <laughs> when our actual campsite is Stones through all that way. I'll show you in a sec. B. 
basically we're going to camp on the great cock up we're going to get our water from the stream yeah come out the wind again we're going to get our water from that stream but when we've had a spot of lunch here we're going to go up that fell oh, up there and then that way on somewhere another six miles so oh, cracking brought a mug shot for lunch this is one of them tip and zip bags that are dead cheap so i'm going to try i think i'm going to put it in there Instead of dirty in a pot, this is the idea anyway. I could have decanted this before I, before I came, but I weren't sure we we're going to actually uh, eat it. It's been on about three trips this and never got eaten. These wind burners, they are bulky, slightly on the heavy side, but they do boil water well, fast. We might have been for a soaking. Carl's got the uh, MSR Deluxe. Cracking little stove. There weren't much in it in that boil time between the two, but I think I put a bit more water in mine. I was just gonna say that. Yeah. Uh, is that looking? Yeah. Alright, uh, zip, zip that up. Just put it in my hat. For a little bit, right, that's it. I mean, it might not work, it might be a rubbish idea, but I'm going to give it a go. It's all about trying new things, seeing if they work right. Yeah, it does actually work, uh, it's not bad, but sometimes you can just pour the water in these packets and they, they do okay. But I thought I'd give that a try. Yeah, it works. And this will be my rubbish bag for the day now. Number three. Did it well, there's three kind of cairns, so we've done them all. Right, it's chilly when you stop. Number four, Great Scarfell. Still windy, so excuse the wind noise. I keep looking at microphones to buy, but I've not found the right one yet. Oh, the wind noise. Number five, number five in the bag. This is not, not the knot, because there's another one of them. This is just not. And I think it's either my 100th or my 99th Wainwright. <laughs> I'm not 100%. But I'll certainly clear that on this camp because we're doing seven, possibly eight, maybe doing Binzi tomorrow. In fact, Lingy Hot is not as far as I first thought. Try and zoom in. There it is, that black thing in the middle, if I can keep still. Yeah. You 
could probably walk to that in less than half an hour. Number number six in the bag, Great Calver. Be aware, runs up there from Skiddo House along there, and that that circle dead centre now is a sheep from Campton. Yeah, great calver in the bag, number six. It's actually nice when that sun comes out, it's actually nice. But that wind and when the sun goes in, it does feel very autumnal, without a doubt. Cal scoffing again. Yeah, the sheepfold down there, we camped in on the uh, Cumbria Way we did a couple of years back. I wouldn't have thought I'd have been up here. Yeah, we could have nipped up. Not likely, we were shattered. <laughs> we were shattered doing that. We didn't have the weather. Right, one more to do. Great cock up. Get our water from the, the valley on the way. And hopefully have a good night. And bring you back later. One of the summits at Great Cock Up. We're gonna do them both just to be on the safe side. Oh, the sky's looking menacing behind. And then that's seven in the bag. So five plus two. Right, Pretty much set up. Kind of no matter how I try, I can't seem to keep things tighter. <laughs> but it's not too bad, I don't think. Uh yeah, got my usual exped mat and my quilts. I brought the wind burner today. As it's gonna be very windy, just makes it easier to have a brew. Like at lunchtime when you're walking, you don't worry so much about it, you know, the wind. And my bag of goodies again. Give you a quick look. Full of rubbish, some painkillers, some wipes, a spoon, we'll need that for later. Uh, and sanitizer, breakfast stuff, 
Oh, I forgot about them. Some coffees. Some sweet meal, beef stew, potato. I'll pull that out. Ready for later. Bows. Yeah, just keeps everything in, in one place, nice and tidy. Yeah, some little fibre bars. Just snacks and junk and stuff and some gum. Yeah, just keeps it all together. Cool. Yeah, managed to get the tents up. <coughs> it's uh, we've had odd showers coming through, but nothing, nothing serious, nothing drastic. Cows over there in his black label, which will be solid. I'm in the red label, which should be fine, just the same. Before they brought a black label out, everybody raved about the red label, so we can see a noticeable difference in the thickness of the poles and what have you and the material's thicker look at this camouflage, you can hardly see him yeah, 10 mil poles you decent in there Carl you having 40 winks so you're ten you always look tidier than me What sleeping bag have you brought? Uh, my old Sky, Sky High. Sky High 700, is it? Yeah. Help kit. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sloping down this way a bit? Yeah, I'm all over there. Yeah, mine's, I'm all over the place as well. I think you should. Yeah. Right, you Oh, Beetle fell with a kern. That was on earlier when I said, you know, all we had to do was walk over here and camp. But we had to do all the way around. Okay. Bassenthwaite Lake in the distance. Salway Firth. This is my view from the tent door, guys. Just sat here waiting for my meal to rehydrate. In my woolly app. Eight minutes, they're always eight minutes. I was gonna do a time lapse of the sunset, but it's that windy. It'll, sh it'll shake the camera and it'll just spoil it. Oh, what a shame. Well, the forecast were right. Dear me. It is windy out there. Something like that lens. Yeah, the forecast were right. It's been windy all night. All night it's been windy. Just having a coffee. And get packed up. Well, at the minute, it's only blowing 14.6, and that's what it's doing. So you can imagine what 30 or 40 would look like. miles an hour. I'll test it again before I go. We're going to walk down that way towards Meal Fell and then down the valley 
back to where we park the cars and then consider going up into all done leave no trace as usual probably can't hear me the wind we just done another reading and got 22 miles per hour so they probably on occasions it was probably getting up to 25 a little bit more but not the 40 miles an hour's forecast but then again we're not on a high summit this is 526 meters on the road so maybe it would have been on Scarfell or Blencather or Skid or something like that it might have been you know another 10 mile an hour It just shows you, you know, what you perceive the wind to be and what it actually is. It's just died off now. Right, crack on, get down. Right, we've moved on to the little lay-by, just at the bottom of Binza. Just hope it doesn't rain on us. So we're going to get this one done. Get this one in the bag and then we can get going get going home because it's three hours 15 of a drive for me that's why it was such an early start right crack on that's it number eight binsy done it's well worth the effort to do this extra one instead of coming back carl's just doing a uh, a wind meter reading it's got to be getting up to the uh, high 20s What's 29. It? 29. Yeah. This is what 29 sounds like. Yeah, bottom of bins there. So glad we came and did it. Because first thing this morning, I was like, Ooh, do I really want to do it? But yeah, definitely glad we came and did it. Bit of parking either side, as you can see. Yeah. It's done and dusted out the way now. Brilliant. Right.